वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे वे गोन टू सॉल्व अ वेरी डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ डिफरेंशिएशन प्रॉब्लम आई नॉर्मली डोंट डू मच ऑफ डिफरेंशिएशन ऑन माई चैनल बट इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू डू मोर ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ वीडियोज प्लीज लेट मी नो सो बाई टाइपिंग अ येस इन दी कॉमेंट सेक्शन ओके दैट गिवस मी लिटरली लॉट ऑफ एनकरेजमेंट इन डूइंग दिस काइंड ऑफ वीडियोज एंड आई वुड नो दैट दीज आर योर रिक्वायरमेंट्स ओके सो नाउ प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड योर यू हैव एक्स रेस टू एक्स रेस टू एक्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस विद एन एग्जाम्पल okay this can also be written as what 2 raise to 2 okay no let's not do 2 because that gets confusing let's do 3 raise to 3 raise to 3 okay now please understand this doesn't is not at all equal to 27 raise to 3 please understand this actually means 3 raise to 27 there is a lot of difference between the two okay i hope you all have understood by now okay so now why like that because in indices you have to have to always go from top to bottom please understand there are certain rules like bodmas we always follow in math okay so this is one of the rule of indices when you have a variable raised to variable a very raised to be the same variable or whatever it is raised to many powers you always grow from top to bottom not the other way round because that will end up giving you the wrong answer this is very very important for people to remember now why was i discussing this because lot of my students thought of taking this and this x raised to x first and making it u and then writing this y equals to u raised to x so that is absolutely absolutely not allowed okay <coughs> Lot of them argued, "Acha, then here also a value of u will now be what x raised to x. Even in the other case, the other case also, if I had taken x raised to u, the value of u would be same. Yes, I agree. But your final answer would be completely off the track. Okay. So I hope this much is very very clear to every one. So now let's begin with our question. So like I said, here we will have to take uh, u. look at this this way this is nothing but what x um sorry let's do it the other way round we'll say this is nothing but what x raised to u where i can say u is nothing but what x raised to x okay i hope this is very very clear okay now please understand i have to fit the entire solution in this particular screen so obviously there will be little bit space crunch which i'll be facing so instead of writing the whole differentiating with respect to x and everything i will just write dwrt x okay that means i'm differentiating with respect to x so now the first thing what you should be doing is see whenever you encounter especially in calculus or especially in differentiation whenever you encounter your rhs having what variable raise to variable not a constant okay in that case what you directly have to start with what logs you apply log on both these sides now as you all know whenever you take log of any number raised to a power that power goes in front so this now becomes what log y equals to log u into log x now like i said see d when you let's start with differentiation so we'll have 1 upon y now instead of dy by dx i'm writing y dash that is absolutely okay okay now here you have variable into a variable so basically you are going to apply the product rule that is u into v that is nothing but what u into differentiation of v that is v dash plus v into u differentiation of u that is u dash so using the same logic i will keep u as it is and differentiation of log x is nothing but what 1 upon x plus log x will be kept as it is and then we'll do differentiation of u that is u dash okay <coughs> sorry now please understand in order to find your final answer you just need y dash okay so your final answer will be what y into u upon x plus log x into u dash that my dear friends is supposed to be your final answer but for that you all need to figure out what is your u dash okay so let's try and figure that out 
so again like you can see u is equal to variable raised to variable so we will write u log log on both sides okay log u equals to x log x okay obviously i'm going to use the same logic which applied over here so now when you do the differentiation what happens okay let's do this so we get 1 upon u now students for all of y'all if you think that standard formulas of differentiation is very difficult for y'all to remember then actually i have made a correlation between differentiation and integration formulas okay I've, i'll put up a link of that video somewhere on the top or in the end of the description please go ahead and check it out okay that's going to be like really really helpful for people who are preparing for at least calculus okay so now coming back again log of u differentiation will be 1 upon u into u dash right and that gets you x into differentiation of log x that gets you 1 upon x plus log x differentiation of x is always just 1 so that is just multiplied by 1 so now your u dash comes out to be nothing but what u into this x is getting cancelled so 1 plus log of x Okay, so let's write this value over here. So your final answer now somehow comes to be, I'm not going to substitute it unless and until I figure out or simplify it, okay, in as much as possible. So you have u upon x plus log x into u dash, okay. So I will just write u into 1 plus log x into log x. So now if you see clearly u is common in the bracket. Let's take it out. So you will have y u. We have 1 upon x plus let's multiply this. We have log x plus log x into log x. It gets you log x square. But please understand you still have to write down your final answer in terms of just x not y and u that is absolutely not allowed or that's discouraged so basically <coughs> your y value will be what x raised to x raised to x so let's write that down you have x raised to x raised to x into u which is what x raised to x then you have a bracket we have 1 upon x plus log of x plus log of x whole square that my dear friends is the answer for this particular differentiation okay for those of you who are finding differentiation difficult or you have any other sum in calculus please let me know so in the comment section i will definitely try and make a video on the same special shout out to sheena who actually gave this question to me she emailed me this question okay so that's it for today i will see you in the next video